Hello everyone, my name is Oliver from Lux Trading and today I'm sharing my learnings and experiences so you all don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. The first lesson that I've learned is start small. When I started out, I had the mindset that the more I put into a trade, the more I profit. So instead of opening one lot, I would open five because five lots is five times as much. That means five times as much profit. Makes sense. But that has led me to going all in on my trades and it has backfired. We humans are emotional beings. And when our money is on the line, we get even more emotional and we start acting vulnerable, desperate, and we make stupid decisions. But emotions are very different when you're trading small and it is much different when you're trading all in. I literally can feel my heartbeat in my veins when I go in with a trade with a big amount of money. So when you start small, you're much less vulnerable to letting your emotions overtake you and you learn how to control your emotions on a smaller account. And as you grow, you keep learning how to control your emotions with that certain amount. Now, if you start trading on a huge account, you're gonna get a lot of that pressure right from the beginning, which is definitely not gonna help your progress. So the lesson to take home is start trading small and don't come with the mindset of doubling your account in a short time. The second thing that I wanna touch on is wishful thinking. When the trade goes against us, we keep hoping that it'll turn around eventually and that we will make a profit or at least exit at a break even. You know, I hate taking losses just as much as you or the next guy. You know, you pray for the candles to turn green Green, even though the market is going exactly the opposite way. And as it often happens, it also happened to me. When the market was going against me, I started fighting the market, putting more and more money in because, you know, eventually it has to go up, right? But most of the time it doesn't and you end up losing your money. Just the same as I did. I was hoping that the market would turn around, but that takes time. So I would have been much better off cutting my losses right away. The third lesson that I want to teach you is focus on risk, not on profit. Your focus as a trader shouldn't be on maximizing your profits, but minimizing your losses. We already take a trade when we feel like it's gonna get us profit. So why put even more focus on the profit side of things? You have done your calculations for profit and then you enter a trade. But once you're entered in the trade, your focus should absolutely shift to minimizing losses if there are any. Trading itself is often against human behavior. It goes against what is natural for us and what our psychology tells us to do. It is something very unnatural to us. And here's the fact, in trading, nobody can be right all of the time. So you'll be wrong at times. And the strategy is when you're wrong, you should minimize your losses. To minimize those losses, you should exit trades quickly instead of keeping false hopes. It's really uncomfortable, but it's the right thing to do. There is something called a risk to reward ratio, which says that if your risk is X, then your reward should be at least Y. Experienced traders use one to three risk to reward ratios, one to four, or even higher. But for a beginner, I would say that you should not open a trade unless you have at least one to two risk to reward ratio. If you want to learn more about risk to reward ratios, I have mentioned it in our other videos. You can go and check those out. And number four is stick to one method. Like I've said so far, there is no holy grail trading strategy. There is no one special strategy that is going to make you a winner. There is no 100% winning trading strategy. Basically, there is no magic there. Trading is a game of probabilities. And any strategy can and will fail at points. If you have a strategy that is right 50% of the time, then it can still be a good strategy. Here's how. If 50% of your trades are profitable, but your risk to reward ratio is one to two, one to three, means for every trade you lose, you're making up twice as or three times as much money. That means that overall in the long term, you're still going to end up in profit. When my strategies used to fail in the beginning, when I was starting out, I would jump from one to another, trying out different different strategies every time my strategy hit a stop loss for a couple of times because you know it was obviously wrong you know it, it was losing money but it is important to remember that every strategy is going to have a losing period so make sure that you choose one strategy you master it you accept the fact that there are going to be losses but with the correct risk management you can turn a strategy profitable now let me jump into the video and tell you that we have a new discord channel so if you're not a member yet sign up down in the link below we do share 
their daily tips, tricks, our daily live rooms there. Bunch of great content. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. And let's get back to the video. And the last lesson that I want to teach you is that you don't have to recover your losses on the same day. You can decide what mindset are you going to carry into the next day. Ah, what I used to do is if I took a loss in the morning, I would spend my entire day trying to make that loss back. As beginners, we tend to want to get our money back as quickly as we can because we do not have the experience to know that it's going to come over time. The market is always waiting for you to break your own rules and will wipe out your account very soon if you do so. I want you to remember one very important thing. Take a piece of paper, write it down and put it on your desk. The market will open again tomorrow. It is a very powerful mindset. You can trade the next day with a better mindset, better patience and discipline. For beginners, what I would recommend is the two stop loss rule. According to which, if you hit two stop losses in a day, just pack it up and leave it. Else you are bound to get emotional, make poor decisions, try to make that money back and you're going to end up with four, five, seven or ten losses instead. You know, when you make a profit, do you owe anything to the market? No. Similarly, when you make a loss, the market doesn't owe you anything. Thing. The profit you make is because of yourself and you only owe yourself the responsibility to walk away from the market when you're losing. And my last lesson is simply just one sentence. In the market, people with money gain experience and people with experience gain money. And that's going to be it from me for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe down below. And if you want to get in touch with us, we do have that new Discord channel or you can send us an email at info at luxtradingfirm.com or reach out to our 24-7 live chat. I'm going to see you in the next video and in the meantime, have a great one.